Hi guys and girls and welcome to another episode of Cook Shed, my very own YouTube channel where I share tips to do with surfing, bodyboarding and sometimes even some skating. Um, some hopefully helpful advice that will help you get more time in the water and having more fun and I guess that's what it's all about. So today, um, actually I'm really stoked to be bringing you this episode today. Um, it's all about zippers on your wetsuits and fixing a stuck zipper. Now, uh, I'm sure many of you will have uh, encountered this problem at one stage or another. Uh, from time to time, zippers on wetsuits and board bags actually, they can, due to being in salt water or around salt water or having salt water sitting on them for some time, um, the zippers can get jammed, clogged and stop working. Now today I'm going to use this uh, wetsuit Rip Curl uh, Dawn Patrol. Now I've done another episode on these wetsuits before, uh, a review, and I found that the zippers get stuck um, or can be hard to close sometimes just without being um, jammed. Um, so I don't know what's going on with Rip Curl and their wetsuits on these, uh, and their sorry zippers on these wetsuits, but um, hopefully it's something that they will address in the future. So what happened was I had this new um, Rip Curl 4.3 Dawn Patrol that I got for winter, uh, and I used it a couple of times, and. I rinse it as well, like if you've seen my other um, videos, I am a strong advocate for rinsing your wetsuits with fresh water after each and every use and uh, hanging them in the shade to dry. Now for some reason, I don't know, maybe I didn't rinse it thoroughly or something, but the zipper on this one, I went to reuse it um, and it was stuck solid and I was pretty upset because it was a new, brand new suit. Um, you know, the, the rip curl are in the pricier range of wetsuits, so I was not happy. I tried everything. Well, I tried a lot of things, I should say. So I tried um, spraying some WD-40 on the zipper. Uh, I tried coconut oil. Some people have said coconut oil will um, loosen them up. but did not seem to work at all. Um, I tried, you know, rinsing it, getting some fresh water in there and, and, and rinsing off the salt um, and the corrosion, but it just did not work. So I was pretty bummed. Um, but then I bought a surfboard off a guy. I bought a used surfboard off a guy and he was saying, Greg his name was, thanks Greg. Uh, he was saying try to try some vinegar on the zip. So I was a little bit sort of dubious, a little bit doubtful on this one, but I thought, oh well, you know, the suit was pretty much a write-off because I couldn't close it. I couldn't close the zip. So uh, in the middle of winter when I wanted to use it, um, this wetsuit would have been horrible and obviously not have done its job. So I got my zipper, which was, um, it was stuck open, like, it was stuck like that. It was stuck so that the the mechanism of the zipper, the large piece, uh, would not move forward on the zip. And when I put the other piece in, the, the tooth, uh, and tried to pull on it, it just would not go. It was, it was sealed shut. Um, now I don't know why there's been a trend to these smaller toothed metal zippers. Um, maybe they're cheaper or something, I don't know. But I prefer those, you can get these plastic chunky sort of YKK zippers. Um, I don't know whether they've gone out of fashion or I, I don't know why they've, they've stopped using them. It used to be the standard on a lot of wetsuits. Um, and they would rarely get jammed up because they had plastic teeth and they were larger as well um, and yeah you really had problems with them but this one's got small uh, metal teeth and yeah obviously the corrosion it, it 
got in there and just really wedged onto the teeth and yeah, I could not move it. So what I did, I got some white vinegar, just cheap home brand, general use white vinegar. And I got uh, a toothbrush, an old toothbrush. So I keep, an, I keep an old toothbrush handy for um, use around the house and um, on car parts and things like that. They're really handy, so don't throw your old toothbrush out. Always keep one handy for stuff like this. So I got um, an old toothbrush. I poured a little bit of white vinegar in the cap of the bottle, dipped my toothbrush in there, and then I just scrubbed in, in all the little nooks and crannies around the zipper. Um, the, the bristles on the toothbrush are really handy for that and it probably also would have helped scrape off any um, corrosion and, and whatnot that had built up around the teeth and the zipper part. So I gave that a go, I got right in, really soaked it you know, all around the zipper. Um, now you might say, well is, is the white vinegar okay to get on your um, wetsuit? I was a little unsure, so after I'd finished um, scrubbing around the zipper, I rinsed it off with water, with fresh water. Uh, anywhere that I've gotten drops of vinegar, because it is a cleaning agent, it's quite a strong cleaning agent, um, yeah, I, I, just to be safe, I put fresh water wherever there was um, white vinegar on, on my wetsuit in case it maybe deteriorated the, the rubber or the neoprene, sorry. Um, and it seems to have not damaged it at all. Maybe, maybe I didn't have to rinse it, I don't know, but I just didn't want to take that risk. So I left, uh, I think I let it sit just overnight. Um, the, actual, the actual zipper parts I didn't rinse with water. Um, I just let them sit overnight and let the vinegar do its thing. And um, after a little bit of wiggling and jiggling, um, the next day, it actually came loose and I was just so happy because like I said I tried a few different things and none of them had worked so I was stoked I've got my new wetsuit ready for winter and it works again now this Greg guy that um, told me about the vinegar he also told me to put some wax, some surfboard wax on the teeth of the zip. Now, he was right about the vinegar, so I thought, oh, I should give it a go, but I was a little bit, just because I just got this working again, I thought, oh, probably not. But I have heard of people using surfboard wax to lubricate things. Um, you would think, you know, it's supposed to be grippy and it doesn't do that, but in certain applications, I think it does work. But I haven't done that with this one. What I did was, just to make sure it sort of doesn't get stuck, hopefully, uh, again, apart from rinsing my wetsuit after every use, which you should be doing, um, I put some WD-40 silicon version. Um, so there's different types of WD-40 spray. Uh, for those who might not be familiar with WD-40, I don't know anyone who would be unfamiliar with it. It's a general all-purpose uh, spray that you can use on so many things. For, it's got so many uses. Um, I got the WD-40 silicon version. So, because I use it on car parts, and the silicon version, uh, it not only uh, disperses water and 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 um, gets rid of rust and things like that. It actually lubricates moving parts. Um, the, the silicon component of the spray helps keep the moving parts lubricated for longer than just normal WD-40. So I got some some of that WD-40 silicon one. There's there's a few different types now of WD-40, and yeah, I just um, put it on the zipper and I put it on the zipper head and all inside it and everything to hopefully keep it running smoothly. And I tell you what, yeah, it's it's it's. There you go, it's running like a dream. So, that's my tip for the day. Possibly the best cook shed tip I have ever given you guys. Um, because it's just going to save you so many wetsuits and so many... Um, it's just going to help in so many different ways. 
Board bags. How many board bags have you seen or had that the padding and everything's still alright but the zip is broken and it's no use for travelling overseas or anything like that where you need to fully zip up the bag. Um, give this a go, put some white vinegar on the zip, in the little in the zip head itself with a toothbrush or something similar you might use it like I don't know an earbud little thing to get in there I don't know but I just found the toothbrush works so do that on your board bags if your board bags are stuck let them sit overnight maybe even a couple of days maybe if it's really bad reapply the vinegar for a couple of times and just let it sit and let it sit and just really let it get in there and work its magic and then like I had to pull pretty hard to get it working again but it did come loose so and it hasn't been hard to close ever since. So there you go, number one tip from Cookshed so far, white vinegar on your zippers of your wetsuits, board bags, anything that's going to get salt water on it after you've um, rinsed it off with fresh water. Hopefully it won't happen, but it does happen from time to time with varying types of zippers. So there you go, nice and quick one. I hope this was handy for you and helpful. Um, if you have found any other things that help free stuck zippers, let us know in the comments, let other people know, share your knowledge. Um, if you have used white vinegar and it's worked for you, let us know as well. If this video was helpful, hit like. Um, and you can subscribe as well to see more handy hints and tips and things that I think will um, help you uh, in your surfing journey. So yeah, subscribe and hopefully I'll see you here next time on Kookshed. Thanks for dropping in. Catch up.